The Daily Planet. I'm Jay Ingram. And I'm Zai Tong. There's still lots of more cool science and technology tidbits to fill you up with today. From a strange theme park where dinosaurs mix with former U.S. presidents to a researcher in the U.K. who's obsessed with how we walk on sidewalks. And we're also going to tell you about a horseback riding record in the works. We think it sounds odd and extreme. But first, a story about how some farmers in Israel and neighboring places like Jordan and the Palestinian Authority are turning to birds, owls in particular, to help them with their crops. Sounds a little strange, but we discovered on a recent trip there that these owls aren't just being treated like royalty, they are coming up with results. Amir wants his young daughter to see lots of birds, just like he did when he was young. So he's climbing up to an owl's nest. Watching is Moti, an ornithologist. This adult barn owl is just what Amir wants. And as you'll see, it's also what the area needs. It's part exterminator and part peace dove. They've come to see her four babies. This is Operation Nest Box. It's supposed to be a physical checkup, but it feels a lot like a promise ceremony. With this ID ring, they promise to shelter the owls and keep them healthy. This is a check for parasites. In return, they want the owls to do what they do best, eat rodents. You see, these guys use owls to help farmers. 166. Mice, voles, and rats can destroy up to 30% of a crop if left unchecked. But owls, even these 350 gram lightweights, don't let that happen. During that time, the parents have to continue and feed them. And at this size, they probably eat close to even uh, 100 grams a day. Which 100 grams a day, if, a, if the weight of a mouse is 14 grams, and that's quite a bit of mice. So the team builds and installs nest boxes on farms. Owls move in and nature does the rest. Amir has proof he's a talented photographer. One pair of rodents can produce more than 1,000 uh, babies in one year. And some days when you were coming here, the entire field was calling with the voices of the voles and the other rodents. And it was a huge damage. Yossi Leshem is the bird man of Israel. Operation Nestbox is his idea. And the problem was the farmers were non-patient and they started to spray on a, on a level which killed not only the, the voles, it killed the migrating birds which were coming over. It came into the water system, it came even to the ground and it affected the people living here or buying the product. So this was a disaster. Lesham uses a nest camera to prove there is a better way. Each pair of barn owls raise about six to 10, even 12 uh, chicks a year. They eat about 2,000 to 5,000 mice. And suddenly we found out that if you are flooding the fields here with the nesting boxes, the owls are coming, and the number of rodents are falling down really dramatically, so the farmers can uh, stop and use the pesticide. If farmers need more proof, they're shown the pellets that every owl regurgitates. And it's similar to almost like a cat, how a cat has fur balls. The owl, everything that it digests, for example, like fur, bones, they regurgitate it in a pellet. When you open it up, there's all different types of rodents. And after we saw this work so well, we invited here the Palestinian and the Jordanian farmers because we thought this can be a big story on a regional level. And you know, the Middle East is a disaster for cooperation. And we believe that the owls can be a tool to get them together. At first, Arabs like the Bedouins were reluctant to try. The Muslims, they have the tradition that the owl, which is called in Arabic Buma, brings bad luck. So we convinced them, let's try it. And the farmers, when the owl started to nest in their own farm, they got really proud. And we have now more than 100 boxes in Jordan, more than 80 boxes with the Palestinian Authority. And in another lovely twist, these ammunition cases will never be refilled. They're being turned into airy penthouses. They got a perfect penthouse to enjoy the weather and to enjoy the life here, to enjoy the rodents. So far, they've put up 1,640 penthouses. Breeding pairs are using half of them. They're producing 1,500 new birds each year, and they're gobbling down as many as one and a half million rodents. 
Lifted by its success, Operation Nest Box is now reaching for the sky. Its ambitious expansion includes encouraging this bird. The kestrel also loves rodents. And even better, it hunts when the owls don't. To be a rodent is really tough nowadays because at daytime they have the kestrels, at night they have the barn owls, so they just go around and some, sometimes someone will come down. They have no chance to finish their first year. Now Leshem plans to fly his idea elsewhere. He's out to have it used all the way from Israel along the Rift Valley south to the tip of Africa. This is a major bird migration route. He believes if you reduce rodenticide, then more birds will survive the trip. Right now, Shaul is less worried about that than his field of juice tomatoes. Okay. He's hoping his owls are keeping them under control. This is a vole, most uh, dangerous pest for those tomatoes, so I'm very, very happy. As the sun sets in the valleys of Israel, a rodent must now wonder, is that the rustle of crops or of wings? The night shift is about to start. Up next, this deceased salmon makes an appearance on Planet U. No, it isn't a paleontological find. We're gonna